Hi, I'm Rob Randall, Chief Executive Officer of ACARA. As part of the National Assessment Program, ACARA has responsibility for the full cohort NAPLAN program, where all students in years 3, 5, 7 and 9 undertake literacy and numeracy assessments. We also have responsibility for the NAP Sample Assessment Program. Since 2003, these assessments have been delivered to a sample of schools across Australia each year, on a three-year rolling cycle. The tests look at science literacy, civics and citizenship, and information and communication technology, or ICT literacy. Later this year, approximately 12,000 Year 6 and Year 10 students from over 600 schools across the country will sit the NAP ICT literacy assessment online. I'd now like to pass to Michelle Robbins, ACARA's NAP Sample Assessment Program Manager, to walk you through some more information about the NAP ICT literacy tests. This year, in October and November, approximately 12,000 Year 6 and Year 10 students from across Australia will take part in a national sample assessment in Information and Communication Technology Literacy, otherwise known as ICT Literacy. 655 schools have been carefully selected using a two-stage stratified sampling methodology. So what does that mean? This methodology guarantees the representative nature of the sample one that is able to deliver results that are valid and reliable. Schools are selected from all states and territories and sectors, including government, Catholic and independent. So what is ICT literacy? ICT literacy is about ensuring our young people develop the skills and competencies required to keep up with and adapt to new and changing technologies. We all know how prevalent and how significant computers and mobile devices are in today's world. We also know that the uptake of new technologies and applications is rapid and that our students are highly adept at keeping up with the latest offerings. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and other forms of social media play such a pivotal role in our students' lives. But do we really know how well our students are able to perform other skills related to ICT? Can our students access information via the web using critical thinking skills? Do they know how to use information in an ethical and responsible manner? Are they aware of the importance of respecting intellectual property? Can our students organise and manage information using software that is commonly available in schools and in workplaces? And importantly, are students able to effectively communicate their understandings with different audiences for different purposes? During the ICT literacy assessment, students will be presented with a number of modules which have been carefully designed to reflect real-world experiences with technology. Both teachers and senior educators have been engaged in the review of these questions to ensure that the assessment is suitable for both Year 6 and Year 10 students. As part of the assessment, we will be asking students to complete a short questionnaire to gauge their usage and experiences with ICT. In 2011, we conducted the same questionnaire and there were some interesting findings. For instance, did you know that only 2% of Year 6 students and 1% of Year 10 students surveyed do not have a computer or a device at home? And did you know that almost 60% of Year 6 students and 80% of Year 10 students use computers at home almost every day. Compared to 2005, these figures have increased dramatically. It will be very interesting to see the findings from this year's assessment. As you know, technology is increasingly shaping the world in which we live, and becoming ICT literate is now an essential 21st century skill. Its importance cannot be underestimated if we are to ensure that our students are fully able to participate in society and engage as responsible global citizens. ACARA would like to thank the many teachers and principals across Australia for ensuring that the technical readiness checks have been completed and for preparing their students for test day later this year. If you'd like to know more about these assessments, please take a moment to read the information leaflets that are now available on ACARA's NAP website. Thank you.